Hey, what's going on, everybody? Movie fam here. First time joined by my lovely girlfriend, Maya. And uh, yeah, full Part day. Two. A full day has passed. We all just film these five in a row and distribute them one day at a time. <laughs> this is a full day later. We wore the same clothes though. Uh, so let's go ahead, part two, like she said, of our DVD update. Let's jump into it. We got Casper. Go ahead, Sony. I picked that one. I picked that one out. Uh, love it. Classic. Another classic movie from my childhood. All right, we got, uh, and this DVD irritates me because it's the, like, you know, like some DVDs you get like the, like all the letters face a certain way, or all the words face a certain way you put it in. Like this is backwards for some reason. It just pisses me off. Uh, this is Celsius 41.11. Um, so Fahrenheit 9-11, which was like, you know, I like it, and I really, I really like it. I'm more, on, I'm more on that side of, you know, that movie. Uh, but that's clearly, you know, it is liberal propaganda. And I'm, I'm, I'm all for it, so before you haters out there start shitting on me, I like it. This is the other side, though. This is like, you know, I guess, you know, fuck Roger Moore. I'm going to say Michael Moore first. No, it is Michael Moore. Shit, Roger Moore is Bond. Okay. It's been a long, uh, it's been a long two days. So, anyways, uh, so Michael Moore, it's, they're basically just taking a shot at him and everybody behind Fahrenheit 9-11. So this is like the opposite of Fahrenheit 9-11, I guess. Celsius... 41.11. So anyways, yeah, there it is. That's that's that. Uh, picked it up for a buck, and I was like, why not? Let's just check out the uh, right propaganda now. So uh, We got Chasing Amy, uh, Kevin Smith film. I do not like Chasing Amy. I just It just was not my movie. Didn't care for it. Where'd you get it? Well, because it was a dollar, and it was a two-disc Criterion Collection. Criterion Collection, two discs. Are you fucking shitting me? Two discs or is it one disc? Okay, it's one disc. But still, yeah, Criterion Collection. That's like the... That's that's the holy grail of, like, DVD collections. And I was like, for a buck, and it's spotless. Like, not a scratch on it. And I was like, I can't pass this up. So it is, like I said, it's the one Kevin Smith film I'm big on, but I have only seen it once. Who knows? Maybe I'll mellow it out a little bit, and I'll like it more a second time. So, but I had to get it. Couldn't pass it up. Got a Christmas Nightmare. Cheesy fucking ghost movie, low budget. Chronicle. Uh, I enjoyed this. I thought it was a really good found footage. This you know came out before found footage was old news. So uh, I guess how you depend on. Uh, I guess people may have been sick of found footage by then, but I enjoyed it still. Still enjoy it to a certain extent. But uh, yeah, Chronicle liked it. Uh, Color Me Kubrick. Uh, I've only seen a trailer for this on another DVD altogether. Uh, and basically, like, it's, it's like John Malkovich who, apparently he's, he's, like, somebody wants to meet Stanley Kubrick for whatever reason, and he's not available, so they get John Malkovich to be Stanley Kubrick, but he doesn't know what, I mean, this is, you know, clearly in an age before DVDs and widespread media, so he doesn't know anything about Kubrick, so it's just his interpretation, which is so ridiculous, just the front cover, like, he just goes very flamboyant with it for some reason. Even though Kubrick was a very dark and brooding looking guy. Uh, once again, don't know shit about this movie other than the trailer. But I was like, Buck, I'm there. Alright. Uh, Dallas Buyers Club, really loved it. This is the movie that got me uh, on the Matthew McConaughey bandwagon. Never been on the Matthew McConaughey bandwagon. O only two movies that I was just like sucking him off on as Frailty and uh, Days and Confused. Oh, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Next Generation. Loved him in those. And then he did a tri or Tropic Thunder, and I was like, it's okay. But for the most part, I was like, fuck Matthew McConaughey. And then I saw Mud, and I was like, oh, that's pretty fucking good. But not enough to get me on his side. And then he did this masterpiece, and I'm like, yep, I'm on your side. I'm on your side, and I will stand by. You can do a million more chick flicks now, and I'll still be on your side, because that movie be awesome. Uh, we got Dead Moon Rising. Uh, zombie comedy from, like, 2004, 2007. I don't know. Uh, but, uh... Actually, I'll be doing a review for this uh, coming up soon, actually. It's actually be the next movie I review, so it's coming your way right there. We got Desperation. I believe this is another Mick Garris movie. It is. So uh, I started reading the book, and I literally, it, the book was good. Uh, haven't finished it. Like, literally got, uh, I don't know. What book? Uh, Desperation. Mm -hmm. Literally got, um, I don't know, 40, 50 pages in, and just never got back around to it. That's my big problem. If I stop reading the book, then I'm like, well, shit, I start from the beginning, and now I'm just like, oh, fuck, it's a chore. And I, I, it's I'll just to... read, read the last sentence, and you'll don't remember. Is that what it takes? Uh, and I just, I don't know, it, 
anymore, I, it takes it just it's, it takes a lot to get me to sit down and read. I love reading, but I just don't have the time to do it anymore. But anyways, picked up Desperation because I figured, what the fuck? Uh, we got the Devil Wars Prada. This was fucking horrible. Seriously, horror. And thing is, like, great actors and actresses in it. I just don't give a shit about the fucking storyline. It's ridiculous. But she fucking creamed all over it, so. District 9. Uh, this is one of those that I thought was okay. And then I noticed that very, people are very polarized on this. People love it. People hate it. Uh, I, I'm not a fan of the director now. Like, that Neil Blumkin. Bump Camp? I don't, it don't matter. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I see this dude now, and it seems like all the trailers I see of his movies just look horrible and just whatever. So, not really a fan. But I did like this the first time I watched it. I haven't seen it since, so I'm hoping it will hold up. But I just remember the special effects I thought were really good in it. But that, that's about it. Disturbia. This was another one of those free ones I picked up. Um, yeah, I mean, it's Rear Window with Shia LaBeouf, pretty much. So, uh, yeah. Don't be afraid of the dark. Uh, we watched this the other night, actually. I really like this. Uh, it's got little gnome fairy troll things in it. Bailey uh, Madison. What? Bailey Madison. Yeah, yeah. Bailey. Katie Holmes. Guy Pierce. Uh, Guillermo del Toro produced it. And it, it has that dark adult fairy tale feel throughout, so I really like it. Dreamhouse. Uh, picked up a Dollar Tree. A little funny story about this movie. Uh, so Dollar Tree, when you first walked in, they had like this little bitty... Table full of DVDs, so we quickly or quickly, you know, we post up right there. We are opposite of each other, so we're just blindly throwing shit into the uh, cart. Yeah, I thought I'm like he's never gonna pick this up. Truth is, um, didn't want to see this. Uh, was not a fan uh, or of the trailer. I, I haven't seen it. I don't know much it's about on, it. It's on Netflix. It's, yeah, I mean, but uh, I just remember seeing the trailer and going, man, like I bet. I can figure this movie out. And I can't remember now what the trailer is like, so I can't really give you guys like a, here's what I think happens in the end. But I just remember when I first saw the trailer, I was like, well, that's what the ending's going to be. Fuck this movie. I already know it. Uh, however, dollar DVDs, I can't pass it up. But I picked it up, and then she also picked it up. So we had two copies, so we, we gave one to my uncle, so which I'm sure he'll get rid of in the next batch he gets rid of. Easy Rider. Uh, this is a movie I've always heard about. This is like the quintessential biker movie. Uh... And I, once again, I've never seen it, you know. I love the cast, and I was like, let me check it out. And it's funny, when I first started watching it, I wasn't digging it, because I was just like, this directing is just really fucking bonkers, and just kind of distracting. But as it goes on, dude, fucking love it. Like, I don't know, man, this movie just really, like, hit me. I, I don't know, it's awesome. It's fucking awesome. So, Easy Rider. Uh, we got Elvira's uh, Haunted Hills. Uh, we have uh, there's a four-pack, a comedy four-pack, or uh, horror comedy four-pack. And uh, it has uh, Elvira, Mistress of the Darkness, uh, her 80s movie. And I really enjoyed it. I thought it was funny. Uh, so this is, I don't know if it's a sequel or just uh, another movie with her in it. But either way, we got it. So Entourage Season 1. This is like one of the most hated shows out there for some reason. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've, I've actually seen Season 1, so I do what I get myself into. But found it for a buck, right? Uh, so, um... Yeah, I, I like it. Makes fun of it. Yeah, dude, everybody rips on this thing. Everybody just like shits all over it. Or is it uh, American Dad? No, it's, it's it's Family Guy. Family Guy really just. I guess you're the guy from uh, Entourage. Um, well, actually, yeah, okay, American Dad did a few. Yeah, I mean, Seth MacFarlane, I guess, just hates it. But anyways, regardless, uh, so now I I enjoyed it. Uh, the first season thought it was really good. Just never got around to watching the second or beyond. But uh, like I said, come across this for uh, Buck. Can't pass it. Man. Okay, The Evil Dead, I've already owned this. Uh, this was my uncle's, and this is actually before he gave away a bunch of his DVDs, but he had two copies. He had, like, or two different versions or whatever. Now, I looked at the back of his, of this DVD, and I was like, oh, shit, like, this has got some different special features than mine has. Mine's very bare bones. So, like, you care, you know, if you're getting rid of them, you care if I just take this one? He's like, no problem. So I get it home, and sure enough, I mean, it's different from mine, but the disc is the exact same. So then I went back to him, I was like, well, maybe you get your disc mixed up, and he didn't. So he's like, no, because like, I bought that, unwrapped it, threw it in the uh, collection. And so for some reason, I got two Evil Deads with different cases, but they got the same fucking DVD in them. So. But still, yeah, whatever. I'm not crying over spilled milk. Get Hard. You got to just have one more. Who, who, who picked it out? Me. She picked it out. Uh, I really liked it. Once again, Will Ferrell, Kevin Hart, they have really good chemistry. I thought it was funny. I enjoyed it. Now, I'm not one for picking up Blu-rays. I have not yet jumped over into that venture yet. But, 
every now and then we find them cheap and sometimes you just gotta go what the heck and we uh, found this uh, at the family, uh, family video uh, we both enjoyed it the gift uh, Jason Bateman's excellent in this thing the other guy is Joe Egerton yeah uh, yeah he wrote directed and started it uh, he does really good and I just I love the ending to this I think it's just fucking brilliant so uh, yeah really enjoyed it and finally for today we got the girl in the photographs uh, I picked it up you picked it out. This was the last movie that Wes Craven produced before he passed away. Um, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't super huge on it. It wasn't bad. It just... It left me... I don't know. It's good. You used to have bad taste in movies. Is that what it is? Like it, yeah. it could be. could be. Um, I don't know. It just left me kind of wanting more out of it. Like I don't know. They ended in a way where it's just like... It was, I don't know, it was just very unsatisfying. and I won't say no more. I mean, it, it has some... It's pretty new. I think it's last year, so uh, I won't spoil it or anything. But uh, yeah, I, don't know, I just I, I wanted more out of it, I guess. So, but uh, whatever, we picked it up. It's, I think it's, it's on good. Netflix. It is on Netflix. So, all right, guys, all we got. Uh, tune in tomorrow for the third part of our uh, five-part DVD pickup. So, sweet. Anything else to add? Nope. And that's it. So, uh, for Maya, I'm the movie fan.